Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about 15 hidden features, secret details, tips, tricks, and more that Rockstar have changed in the Diamond Casino and Resort update in Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's get it started today. One of the more frustrating parts in my opinion with the Diamond Casino in Resort is that you can't run or walk very quickly. It's such a big building. Well, something else that's kind of frustrating, this happened to me the other day, is apparently you can get stuck on the NPCs. So what I was actually trying to do was get a first person view of the Trufate Thrax spinning on the podium. And I was trying to back up and get the best camera angle. And I ended up falling between these three NPCs right here. And I got totally stuck. And because you can't run and jump inside of the casino, there was no way for me to get out. And obviously you can't pull out your weapons. So I had to completely shut down my game or join a new lobby. It was just a total pain. So just be careful. It's another one of those annoying little quirks inside of the casino that you can get stuck on the NPCs and because they don't move and don't do anything, you're stuck there with them. Moving on, one of the more interesting things you can get from the Lucky Wheel is one of the in-game discounts. And there's been a little bit of confusion on how those discounts actually work, particularly how long they stay. So funny enough, as I was recording this video, I went to go spin the Lucky Wheel. And when I did spin the Lucky Wheel, guess what I ended up getting? A discount. And I got a discount for the Legendary Motorsports. And as you guys can see there, it is a 10% discount. And then the next little on-screen display said vehicle discounts are available for a limited time only. Go to the inventory section of the interaction menu to check your discounts and the time remaining before they expire. So these coupons or discounts don't last forever. In fact, they only last for 48 minutes. So one full in-game GTA Online day is as long as this discount is going to last. So if you spin the lucky wheel or if you have spun the lucky wheel and you end up getting a discount, you want to make that decision sooner rather than later. And certainly don't forget about it. Now, because it's a 10% discount, theoretically, the more money you spend, the more you will save. So in my opinion, I would choose a higher end vehicle, one that's going to cost a lot of money because you will be able to save more money in the process. That's pretty cool and something, again, you might not have known about from the Diamond Casino and Resort update with the Lucky Wheel. Now, another thing you might not have known about is one of the slot machines actually has a special perk. And it's one that you guys probably aren't playing all that much. It's the fame or shame slot machine. Now, the reason a lot of you guys are probably not going to play this one all that much is because it literally has the lowest bet amounts from five chips to 25. So your payout is not all that great. However, if you get three golden microphones in a row, not only will you win 2,500 chips at the minimum bet, but you will also get yourself a set of free t-shirts. That's right. The Fame or Shame slot machine has shirts that can be unlocked by hitting jackpots. Again, this is probably not the slot machine that you guys are going for in terms of trying to hit a jackpot, but if you do want one of those rare t-shirts and items in the game, you have to get the jackpot or the three microphones in a row. So just something to keep in mind right there, if for whatever reason you want a little bit of a change of pace, play the Fame or Shame slot machine and if you hit the jackpot, you might be walking away with more than just some free chips. This next tip is really silly, but I kind of found it to be funny. You can actually do a dive off of the roof of the Diamond Casino and Resort and land in the pool. So how about that? There's the roof terrace and then there's the roof above where you've got the helipad and the air conditioning vents where you can actually dive off into the pool. Well, the first time I didn't do it so successfully. You can see I just sort of floundered and belly flopped my way down. But uh, if you actually go up there a second time, or I should say on my second attempt, and I tried to aim for the deeper water, yeah, it turns out you can pretty much do like a high dive inside of the pool. That's kind of awesome. Again, really doesn't help you in any way, but if you wanted to show off to your friends or just do something fun, just know that you can dive off the top of the building into the pool and you will be just fine. Now, it seems over the past couple of background fixes, Rockstar have done something with the Duke of Death. For the longest time in this update, the Duke of Death was appearing as out of stock for a ton of players. And I don't even know what that means. Like, out of stock? Like, did the people making the Duke of Death go on strike? Like, how does that even work? 
Apparently, it was just a glitch because now if you go into your game and if you go to Warstock Cash and Carry, you will see that the Duke of Death is available for me for free, and it should be fixed for everyone now. I'm not sure why Rockstar was having this problem, but it was something that I was getting a lot of questions about, and now that issue seems to be fixed. Something else that's really cool that Rockstar will be introducing over the next couple of weeks is increased payouts for new survival modes. So as we've talked about in previous videos, Rockstar are going to be adding the survival creator with this DLC. They're also going to be adding some new survival modes. Well, apparently Rockstar has plans to increase the payouts for those brand new modes. So according to Insider Tez Funds 2, the new payout takes into account the time you've survived. So if you survive for five minutes, you will get a 0.5 multiplier of pay. 10 minutes is a one-time multiplier. 20 minutes is a two-time multiplier. 30 minutes is a 2.4 times multiplier. And 60 minutes is a three times pay multiplier. So finally, Rockstar is using common sense here. In a survival mode, you get more money based on how long you survive. And I think these are only going to be implemented for the new survival modes. I don't believe they've currently been implemented into the game. Another nice quality of life change that Rockstar has made is waypoints. So for example, I'm going to set my waypoint on one of these beautiful Vinewood Hills mansions. And you can see there that it appears on my map in purple. However, I'm outside. In the past, what would happen is if you went inside, the waypoint would go away. Well, it looks like with the casino update, Rockstar have changed that. Even if you go inside, you can see that the waypoint is still there on the map. And then if you go back outside, the waypoint will be there also. Again, something small, but a nice quality of life change that Rockstar has ultimately made. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Mr. Boss, how can I keep track of my diamond program status? In case you guys don't know, the diamond program is something that Rockstar has got going on for about a week longer. And it's basically where you just complete different objectives in game and you will be rewarded uh, on different tier levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. And it gets you things like free liveries and t-shirts and items from the casino store. Well, in order to figure out what level you are, you basically just need to go to the diamond casino awards tab in Grand Theft Auto Online. And you'll know you've reached diamond status, which is the top status of the diamond program when you've completed all of the awards in the diamond one and you've completed the one bronze one, which is to do the missions for Agatha Baker. So that right there is how you can keep track of your status because there's not like a menu that you can view in game that'll tell you what level you're at. So unless you guys have just been keeping track on your own, that's a great way to see like, oh, I've got one more mission to do or like, oh, I need to complete them all in order or something like that. Uh, it's a good way to keep track of what you still have left to ultimately accomplish. Moving on, something apparently very interesting has happened with all bikes and motorcycles in Grand Theft Auto Online since the casino update arrived. And this includes vehicles like the Oppressor and the Oppressor Mark II. It seems as if players can no longer lock on to people on bikes. And this makes them incredibly overpowered. So according to Rockstar Insider Tez Funds 2, he believes it's because Rockstar changed something with the bikes as far as the camera goes. They didn't make them more powerful, but what Rockstar did is they changed the following camera for the Oppressor Mark II, which is causing a mega bug. And people cannot lock onto it with rockets or with their aiming their guns. So for example, if you're in a lobby that has uh, auto aim help, you won't lock on to the Oppressor Mark II, which is currently making them incredibly powerful. So if the Oppressor Mark II and the Oppressor wasn't already a good enough vehicle uh, in terms of, you know, its free mode prowess, well, this new bug has made it even stronger. So I'm hoping this is something that Rockstar fixes sooner rather than later, because I feel like people will definitely start to take advantage of this. It's one of the reasons why since the casino update has come out, I haven't even gone in a public session, which is actually great because there's no need to. I can do all the casino missions in a friend or invite only lobby and I can of course enjoy all the aspects of the diamond casino and resort from an invite only session too. So just something to keep in mind right there that the oppressor mark II is insanely overpowered now because it basically can't be killed. And uh, that right there makes it wicked overpowered. 
Now, speaking of vehicles, a lot of people were having trouble getting the Armored Paragon R. This is the free vehicle that you get if you host and complete all of the casino missions. It turns out that a lot of people were either losing the Paragon R or it was disappearing. Well, apparently Rockstar are starting to give back free vehicles. And this also includes the Trufade Thrax too, the podium car that you can win from the Lucky Wheel. Players were saying they were losing those because they were uninsured. Rockstar Support has responded to a couple people, including my friend Alex, where they said, We have identified and fixed an issue which resulted in the loss of the Anus Paragon R armored in, in Grand Theft Auto Online, and we have delivered a new Anus Paragon R to the penthouse garage of all impacted players. So again, good news right there that if you lost an armored Paragon R or a Trufade Thrax as well, Rockstar seems to have replaced all of the ones that have gone missing. And last but not least, speaking of the Trufade Thrax, since tomorrow is Thursday, at least when I'm recording this video on Wednesday, July 31st, that means tomorrow we are going to get a new set of tunables and Rockstar is going to be changing the vehicle on the podium car. So today is your final chance to win the Trufade Thrax from the Lucky Wheel. Now, when we might see it back there, who knows? Rockstar Insider Tez Funds 2 said it might be until October 17th or 24th when they rotate the wheel back to the older set of vehicles. So when the new vehicle does change tomorrow, and for that matter, if anything new arrives or any new changes are made, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted and uh, let you know what's going on there. But anyways, that right there is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today, and that is 15 hidden details, secret features, tips, tricks, and more that you might not have known about in the Diamond Casino and Resort update. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you know of any other tips or tricks that I didn't talk about in this video. You can let me know down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 5 casino news, info, videos, and more. And just be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.